Hello students. Today we are going to start lesson number 10 that is adjectives. Before starting the lesson, before understanding the types of adjectives, let us understand what adjectives are. Adjectives are describing words. It describes the nouns or pronouns. It tells us the details. It tells us the description of the noun, of the pronoun or of the subject of the sentence. Adjectives are words that define, identify or modify nouns, pronouns or noun phrases. Here, something is added to the meaning of nouns or pronouns. They are, def they are giving the defi definition, they are giving the identity and the modification. Gita is a taller, is taller than Kalpana. Now here we are talking about Gita. It is a noun. Gita is taller. We are describing Gita as a taller girl. Birds have hollow bones that make their bodies light. Now birds have hollow bones. What kind of bones? Hollow bones. Their body. Whose body? Their body. The heart is the main organ in the circulatory system. Which organ? Main organ. Which system? The circulatory system. Understood students? Now let us start question number 1. Underline the adjectives in the following sentences. Also Bracket the nouns they modify. Now what you have to do here? Here you have to underline the adjectives. After underlining the adjectives, you have to make a bracket on the noun that is being described by the given adjective. So let us start. My brother is a left-handed batsman. Now, who is left-handed? My brother. So, here we are describing as to be the left-handed batsman to for my brother. So, we will put here a bracket. B. Renu saw a big poisonous snake in the backyard. Now, big poisonous snake. We are talking about a snake which was big and poisonous. Darjeeling is famous for its tea gardens. Now we are talking about Darjeeling which is famous. D. I saw an old woman. What kind of a woman? Old woman. With grey hair. What? Which hair? Grey. So, let's make the bracket. Trying to enter the crowded bus. What kind of a bus? Crowded bus. Understood students? So, in this way, you have to complete from E to H in homework. Adjectives can be categorized into seven types. Adjectives of quality. Adjectives of quantity, adjectives of number, possessive adjectives, demonstrative adjectives, interrogative adjectives and distributive adjectives. We are going to learn these seven adjectives here. Adjectives of quantity describe the kind of a quality of a noun or a pronoun. Here it gives us the quality. The quality of a noun or a pronoun. They answer the question what kind of. You should remember that if we are asking what kind of. It will give us the answer of adjectives of quality. Adjectives of quantity. 
Describe the quantity of a noun or a pronoun. They answer the question, how much? They answer the question, how much? They are generally used with uncountable nouns. Now we use the adjective of quantity with the uncountable nouns. Now adjective of number inform us about the number or position of a noun or a pronoun. They answer the question how many or what position. Now how many or what position they are generally used with countable nouns. Now see here we do not know the exact quantity but here we have the exact number. These are used for the uncountable nouns while these are used for the countable ones. Understood students? Question number 2. Underline the adjectives in the following sentences. Put the adjectives in the correct columns. Now here in the given sentences, we have to underline the adjectives and then we have to put them into the correct column of adjective of quality, quantity and number. A. The fifth boy in the first row is a singer. Now, the fifth boy. Which boy? Fifth. First row. Which row? First. So, fifth and first both give us the exact number. So, it is adjective of number. We will write here in the column. B. Please add a little honey to the hot milk. A little. We do not know the exact quantity of honey here. So, it is adjective of quantity. A little. Now, hot milk. What, which kind of milk? Hot milk. So, hot is the quality of milk. We will write here in the adjective of quality. See, the new seminar room has enough chairs for all the guests. Now, new seminar room, enough chairs. Now, here we are referring to new. That means it is showing us the quality of the seminar room. So, it is the Quality has enough chairs. We don't have the number of exact chairs. So, enough shows us the quantity. So, adjective of quantity. D. Parul bought some radishes, two lemons and numerous tomatoes. So, here some radishes. Some shows us the number. It shows us the exaction that there, there are some of the radishes. So, it shows the now adjective of number. Two lemons. It gives us the exact number of lemons here. So, two. Now, numerous tomatoes. Now, the tomatoes in the numbers. So, adjective of number. Adjectives that are used with nouns or pronouns to show possession are called possessive adjectives. They answer the question whose. Now here you can ask the question using whose. My, are, your, his, her, their and its are the possessive adjectives. Adjectives that help us point, uh, point nouns they Proceed are called demonstrative adjectives. Now we use demonstrative to point out the things like this, that, these, those with the help of these words. And here it shows the possession. It shows the belonging of something. Interrogative adjectives are words used before nouns to ask question. Now, interrogative adjectives. From the name itself, you come to know that these are the words which ask the question. Which, what and whose are the interrogative adjectives. Adjectives that refer to individual member of the group are called distributive adjectives. Now, when we are referring to individual member of the group, from the group 
when we are talking about only one member or the individual member then it is the distributive adjective so each every either neither are the distributive adjectives they are used with the singular nouns so students this was all about the different types of adjectives now let us start question number 3 Select the appropriate option from the brackets and complete the following sentences. Write P for possessive, D I for distributive, I for interrogative and D E for demonstrative adjectives in bracket after the sentences. A. Blank article did you like the most? Whose article? Here we are asking a question by the use of whose so it is a interrogative adjective and we will write here i b do not touch these paintings these we are pointing out the paintings here so it is demonstrative adjective we will write here d e c blank rare pearls are worthy 50 lakhs these rare pearls so again we are pointing out the pearls using these so demonstrative adjective d she wrote blank name on the cake her name on the cake so the name we are showing the belonging of the name the possession of name so possessive we will write p here understood students Now let us understand one different concept of adjectives. We often use more than one adjective to describe a noun or a pronoun. In such cases it is necessary to decide the order of the adjectives. The following table shows the usual order in which adjectives are placed in a sentence. Now many times it happens that we describe a few the group of things for a particular noun. so in such case like which uh, adjective to be used from which adjective it should be started which order to be followed for all these things we should keep in mind the following table first it should be the number second should be the opinion third should be the size then age shape color origin and material see the example Kasturi ate three big, fresh, round, red apples. Now see here, three. It shows the number. Big shows the size. Fresh shows the age. Round shows the shape, and red shows the color. So here we have uh, followed the order of number, size, age, shape, and color. next i have a beautiful modern square golden box to collect old coins so opinion age shape and color it was an old chinese ceramic plate so old age chinese origin and ceramic is material so age material origin and material in this way we need to keep the order of the things in mind Now let us start with the question number 4. Rearrange the following words to form a meaningful sentence. One has been done for you. A. Of beware German the big five shepherds. Beware of the five big German shepherds. B. Actress Anne was the Scottish young beautiful woman. The beautiful young Scottish woman was an actress so here see we had started with opinion then age then comes the origin here i enjoy tasteful english simple breakfast i enjoy tasteful and simple english breakfast the opinion then origin we have used here Meghna wore Indian a uh, muslin white gown yesterday. Meghna wore a stylish white 
Indian muslin gown yesterday. Now here, stylish, it's a opinion. Then white, we are describing it. Then Indian, it shows the origin. White shows the color. Indian shows its origin. Understood students? In this way, you have to follow the pattern of the order of the adjectives and then you have to complete this exercise and from E to G you have to complete in homework. Now let us start question number 5. In question number 5 we will be able to see that we have to use the adjectives for the type given in the bracket. Now complete the following sentences with appropriate adjectives of the types mentioned in brackets. Now here the type is mentioned and for that we have to use the appropriate adjective. Every child must have the basic right to education. Distributive. B. Blank superpower would you like to have? Interrogative. What? C. He does not drink blank water. We need to refer the quantity. Much water. D. Shweta ties blank hair with a blank ribbon. Her hair possessive. Her and the quality. So satin, satin ribbon. Understood students? From E to G you have to complete in homework. Now let us start question number 6. Complete the following sentences with the adjective forms of words given in the brackets. One has been done for you. Now here in the bracket we are given the adjectives. We are given the words. We have to use them in the adjective form and then we have to complete it. Mr. Singh is a blank and kind person. Honorable and kind. B. You looked so blank in that costume. Comical, comic, comical. I am blank about the whole idea. Doubtful. D. The buses in the city are absolutely hopeless. Understood students? In this way you have to complete E to H in homework. Now let us start with question number 7. Rewrite the following sentences correctly. One has been done for you. A. It was a witch film but the songs were every. Now here we have errors in the sentences. We have to correct them. It was a boring film but the songs were enjoyable. B. Some kind of tea do you prefer? Ice or hot? It would not be some kind. It will be which kind of tea do you prefer? Ice or hot? So we will replace some with which. C. The night felt sad and cold. Sad, dark, cold. The night felt sad, dark and cold. D. The this boy called more father immediately. Now it will not be this. It will be sick. The sick boy called his father it will not be more father. It will be sick. His father immediately. Understood students? In this way you have to complete from E to H in your homework.